Hello everybody, this is Albert again and today I have something very special to announce so maybe some of you know that I have a blog called Correlation Economics as you can see here and this blog was started somewhere in 2011 and I created this blog to monitor economic indicators and when you click on the list of correlations here you can see that I have monitored a lot of data so this is called data mining and I have listed all correlations here and we have around 200 correlations here and the most important ones I listed here on the top um, now using these correlations I created this new index here the gold forecaster index I call it and I think this is the holy grail for gold investors because it can predict what the gold price will do with a delay of one year so you know one year up front what the gold price will do and I will explain how this index is set up <coughs> so this is comprised of five economic indicators that I monitored for eight years long the first one is the capacity utilization in the US <coughs> Second one is the consumer price index. Third is the 10 year yield. Then we have the trade balance in the US and the money supply, <coughs> the broadest measure. Why did I take these indicators? Let's go over them one by one. So, capacity utilization. What's important on that is, as you can see here, capacity utilization, the blue line here, is a leading indicator for price, the consumer price. So when that goes up, the price will also go up. And that's because when the capacity of the industry goes above 80%, that means that the producers cannot produce any more the stuff so they need to increase prices so that has an effect on the on the price level and as you know gold is a very good way to defend against price inflation <coughs> so this is the first uh, indicator that I put in the gold forecaster index now the second one was the consumer price index of course we need to have this index in the gold forecast index because it shows how the prices are inflated and gold is a good way to defend against inflation but we have also the 10-year yield in here and as you know whenever the 10-year yield goes up that means that people can put their money in interest-bearing assets and they will go out of gold because gold has zero interest so that's why I have also included the 10-year yield in the index and I will show you that here this is a chart of the 10-year yield minus the CPI, Consumer Price Index. And when this goes up, it means that yields are very high. So if the blue line is high, that means that the gold price goes down. And you can see that here very clearly. This goes down, the gold price goes up. So this, this correlation has also been added to the index. Uh, the following is the trade balance. 
Well, the U.S. has a lot of trade deficits uh, today, and the deficits are going higher. And the effect of that is that the U.S. dollar will decline, because uh, a higher deficit means that the dollar goes down. And I will show you that in this chart here. Here you can see the trade deficit in red. This means a higher trade deficit. And that means also that the dollar goes down. So this is a very interesting correlation here. And if you see that the trade deficit goes up, huh, which means the blue line goes down, then the dollar drops. And if the dollar drops, gold will go up. That's uh, a normal correlation. Now then we have the last one, and that's the money supply. Of course we put the money supply in this equation, because that measures how the Federal Reserve is printing money. As you can see here, the red line is the line where the Federal Reserve prints money with the different QEs, quantitative easings. And whenever the Federal Reserve does that, it means that we have inflation. Because inflation is the increase in the money supply. And of course, we will put that in the index here. And we add all of this up. And we get the gold forecaster index. And of course, I have normalized everything and I've created it as a change in sentiment, so a percentage change from a year ago, and then we get this. Now, how do we read this chart? So, if you see the red gold forecaster index go above zero, for example, here then you should buy gold. It's that easy. If you bought gold in 2005, the gold price would have risen from 400 till 650. Then the gold forecaster index said you had to sell it, and then the gold price went down. Then again here, the index says in red that you need to buy it and the gold price went from 660 to 800 to, to 1000 actually and then the index went down again so you could sell here but then the index said again you need to buy so it went up again and here we see a large drop I don't know why, but it's all calculated in these indices. So you could sell here, and you can see that the gold price didn't really go up, it was fairly flat. And then, probably due to quantitative easings from the Federal Reserve, we see the index go up again. So here is a buying signal. And Yes, the gold price went up from 1,300 to 2,000. And then we had several warning signs here of the index going below zero, below zero. So these are warning signs that you have to sell gold. And here is a real warning sign, it was really going down. And you had all the time to sell it in this period. So you could sell it here. And then the gold price went down from 1,600 to 1,200. And here it says you, you shouldn't buy gold anymore. And yes, that's what happened. It went down until here. You could start buying again here. And if you did that, then the gold price would have risen here a year later. And let's see here, here you would have sold, and that's also true because 
we had a large decline here from 1,300 to 1,100 in 2018. It wasn't a, a good year uh, this year, so it went down, and now we are at zero. So this means that the gold price will be fairly stable going forward. So let's see what will happen here. If this goes down here, then you should sell. If it goes up the red line, then you should buy. It's that easy, and this is a real game changer. So I invite everyone to use this index, because it will really help you to uh, predict what the gold price will do. You can find it on this site. I have put the link here, Gold Forecaster, and you can just find this, the, the index here. I have even uh, marked it here. You can see all the buy signals here. Buy signals, here, sell signal, buy signal. It's really a very interesting index. I just came up with that. So good luck to everyone, <coughs> I'll see you in the next video.